This recession has forced a change in our behavior, leading us to rediscover old habits and old joys. Now, one of the most obvious features of this recession has been the effect it's had on people's lifestyles, in particular when it comes to what seems to be the national sport, retail therapy or shopping. People have been cutting back, people have been trading down, mainly, it must be said, out of dire necessity. When a flash flood hit the village of Boss Castle, the crew here found themselves at the heart of one of the toughest rescue missions of recent times. We see boxers all the time squaring up to each other well, and pretending know, not to fight. Nobody, nobody the fight. The Were you the baddest guy on the planet? Nobody's the baddest man on the planet. He you know, said we... things like before fights about your opponents. I, I want to punch him on the tip of the yeah, nose listen, to drive listen, his, listen, the listen. bone up through his brain. You know what? I was a young kid then. Yeah. I'm 43 years old. You know, right? You're still dwelling on something I said at 20 years old or 21 years old or 19 years old. I'm 43. What do you What do you want to get from this interview? I, I want to see how what much you trying to I want to see how me? much you've changed, Mike. You're, you're well, a different person know. now, aren't you? I don't know if I am or not. I don't want to be the person I was, but I don't know. Change comes in time. You talk about managing the process. Um, do we or do you manage the process through President Mubarak or without him? Because that is an obstacle, is it not, to change? That is what the people of Egypt want to see happen for him to resign, to step down. Well, I think what the people of Egypt want to see, obviously, is, is to get to a point in which they have proper elections. That's for sure. That's been the watchword of this uh, interview, a uh, caution about um, change. And I'm interested in um, where you've kind of learned your lessons here. I mean, is it from Iraq, where we saw the sudden toppling of a dictator there, a strong dictator there, and chaos ensued? It's not from that. And by the way, let, let's not get ourselves mixed up here. Hosni Mubarak is not Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein devastated his country. You were, when you uh, took the job, as you said, a uh, bit of an economic novice. I just wonder if the Shadow Chancellor knows what the uh, current rate of employers' yes, national insurance saying, contributions yeah. are. Well, look, uh, <laughs> the, the accusation of being an economic novice is that when you take over a new yeah. job, you have to ensure that you bone up Pretty on Pretty basic things. element of the yeah. tax system, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's going up by 1%. From? Yeah. From 20% to 21%. Uh, uh, sorry, national yeah. insurance. Employers, employers, secondary class one rate for employers stands at the moment at 12.8%. 12 12 right, okay, that yeah. helped you out there. Okay, just, I mean, just, 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 just out of interest. So there's still a lot to learn. This is what we've been playing towards. It's time for the final round, which, as always, is general knowledge. Well, Ross, nice to see you. Now, tell me this. Do you glamorise the lifestyle? I hope. People have said, well, yeah. you know, those scenes, they're gratuitous. It's surely not all like that. You've picked the most memorable ones, the most violent well, of ones. Course we Are you glamorising it? Well, well, I don't think we're glamorising it. I think we're showing people what exists. Ross, thank you very much indeed once again for talking to me. And join me next week where I'll be asking Ross what it's like to come face-to-face -face with a machete-wielding pirate. For now, goodbye.